Good morning, welcome back to Vlogmas. I am rushing out the door right now, so I just wanted to show you my outfit really quick. I'm wearing my Princess Polly kind of blazer coat. You guys have seen this in a haul before. And uh, just an H&M hoodie, it's a cream color. I wish I had white or black, but I might get that today. Princess Polly jeans, and then boots are from Zara, and uh, glasses are from Pretty Little Thing. So. I'm actually running to a work meeting in Dallas, so I gotta run. I will see you guys in the car. I'm gonna stop for coffee really quick, and then we'll catch up there. Okay, bye. All right, what's up, you guys? I got my coffee. Sorry, I was in a bit of a hurry, so I didn't bring the camera in, but I went to our normal Honey Lou spot. There was a line out the door, so I panicked and just ran over to uh, the Starbucks and got like a just like a drip coffee because that's they don't have to like make it and I just didn't have time because I don't want to be late for my meeting. I ironically have a work meeting there for Sephora because we are doing an event in Dallas later this month so can't really share much about it right now because it's kind of confidential but uh, yeah that's coming. I am working on planning that and so therefore I'm going to Dallas to meet some of the team. So that's what's going on. Okay, Hunter's calling me. Yada you. Okay, so I'm in Sephora. I just got done with my meeting and I have been out of my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream for quite some time now and I'm really sad about it. So I think I'm gonna get some of this. This is the Ultra Facial Cream with sunscreen. It's my favorite one. I like the with sunscreen version, not the regular. So I'm gonna get one of these. Let me get a basket. I've been really wanting to try one of the Charlotte Tilbury ones. I think I like this one in Hot Gossip. I tried the Iconic New, but it looks a little pinky for my taste. I don't know, maybe I could get both, but I like the Hot Gossip, so I'm gonna get one of these. I know it's the right color, let's see. Hot Gossip, okay. Look how gorgeous this is. And look at that highlight. I kind of want to get that. So pretty. I get it. I kind of want it. I love the packaging. I think I will. I'm also like vlogging right now. <laughs> I'm shopping. Um, I do that. It's like my side hustle. Awesome. Yeah, so. Okay, thank you. Okay, so that's the store director that I'm working with for the event, but I'm just doing a little shopping, so I'm getting two of the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. One in Pillow Talk, which is the really popular one, and I got it before, but I just wasn't sure if I liked it, but I'm gonna give it another shot. And then I'm getting that Marc Jacobs, so pretty, that foily highlighter. And then Charlotte Tilbury powder, I've been really wanting to try also. And then of course my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream with the sunscreen, it's my favorite one. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna look for some other stuff. I, I always like to, when I buy stuff, I wanna get like the luxury products because we don't normally get that stuff at work. So that's what I'm shopping. I'll let you guys know what else I buy. Bye. I'm in the dressing room at H&M and trying on a few little like basic sweaters. It's really cute, I'm excited about that, but this is really cute, it's like a, kind of like a PJ top. Oh, there you can see it now. It's like satiny, button up, kind of long. I kind of like it, it's very chic. I feel like kind of model off duty. So, I really like this one, really cute. Let me see, I'm gonna try on some of the others. Leopard, really cute. And this one's only like $14.99, which is really cheap for a sweater. It's super cute, actually looks cute with these booties, but I like this, this is a size small. It's definitely kind of wide. So you need to tuck it in because it's a little bit unflattering, but super cute. Love this one. I need a basic white sweater, but I don't know. I mean, I do like this. I just feel like up close, I don't know. It doesn't, it feels a little cheap, but it'll do. I mean, I definitely need one, so I feel like I should just get it because I need the sweater. I don't know about this one. I like that it's longer, but I don't know. Maybe I need to wear this with skinnies. Kind of oversized, I guess. It's definitely really warm. 
Hmm. But if I wanted to wear it down, I feel like, I don't know. I wonder if I should just get a bigger size and wear it like as a dress. Not sure. Crop hoodie. It says Kodak. I thought it was very like 90s vibe. Um, but, hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe with black sweats it'd be cute. I don't know. I feel like last time I bought some hoodies from H&M, like cropped ones, I never wore them. So, I don't know. Okay, well, I'll let you guys know what I end up getting. Just walked in the door and got home and have a few packages at the door. So, wanted to share what I have. Let's see here. Pretty sure my Christmas wreath came. Well, let me get a knife to open them. Okay, let's see here. What did I order? I have an iPad mini that I use to when I travel to watch TV, but I don't have a stand for it and it's so annoying. So I ordered this one on Amazon, very plain. I got this like, it's like a charcoal gray. Kind of looks weird on camera, but um, it had really good reviews. So yeah, I'll let you know what I think, but I just needed something that I could like, you know, make, wait, how would you do that? Let's see. Oh, you like this? I like this so I can stand it up and like watch TV because it's really slippery the iPads are so slippery so I got that and then I'm pretty sure this is my Christmas wreath oh it smells so good okay so I ordered this wreath from Pottery Barn okay here it is so I ordered this wreath from Pottery Barn on Cyber Monday because I think it was on sale for like $60 and I didn't know this, but Pottery Barn makes, they have fresh wreaths, this is real. And they'll just ship them to you, they'll make it and then ship it to you within like a day, like an overnight shipping. Look how beautiful it is, it's olive, it's like olive leaves and branches, which I like, because it's not like a traditional Christmas wreath, but it feels a little bit more farmy and more Sonoma-ish California, which is like, I try to go for that, more of that farm taste versus like Texas farm um because then it looks more modern so let's put it on the door it smells so good mm. thinking down this fall one this one's fake um that i had it for fall honestly though i feel like you could get this one for fall and then just leave it up through christmas gorge okay i love it let's see what the door closed so much better, much more Christmassy. So super excited. I also ordered some garland in this material and I'm gonna put that on the dining room table. I did get a few things at the mall so I will haul that for you guys in a little bit but I need to do some stuff for work and then I'll see you in a sec. A bit later, I just filmed a Q&A which will have already been up by now. It's going to be yesterday's Vlogmas and yeah, so I need to edit that. So I still don't have any groceries. I still haven't been to the grocery store. This is so unlike me, but I've been really busy and I haven't had time to go to the store to get groceries. I really wish I would have done that at the beginning of the week because now I've been going like out every night to get salads and stuff. But we actually have like a little restaurant in our like local neighborhood and they have like a cafe with like some food and their food's actually really good. So I think I'm gonna call and order something to go from there. So let me see if I can find the number. Hi, I just wanted to see if I could place an order for pickup. Okay, Um. also what's your guys' soup of the day actually? Okay, I will get a cup of that. And then also I saw you guys had like a fish with like, um, Perfect, that's what I want. Perfect, okay, cool. Thanks, okay, bye. All right, perfect, we'll pick that up in 15 minutes. So then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna edit the Q&A, put it up, and that'll be today's Vlogmas. Um, by the way, I got these slippers from Walmart. I showed them on my stories last night when I was there. Look how cute they are. They like look like the Gucci loafers. They're just like black velvet. They literally feel like cardboard. They're like, you know, 
but they keep your feet warm and they're cute. Like these look cute with jeans. I don't know. They kind of look like Gucci loafers. I love them. So I actually found them. I wanted to link them on my stories because like I'm sure I'll get questions and I actually found them on Amazon. They're literally five dollars. It's so cheap. So I just feel like they're really cute little house slippers that look really cute. I didn't vlog this last night, but I actually went to Walmart last night to try and find some ornaments for the tree. You guys know we still need some bare ornaments because those ornaments are ding dinky, but I haven't been able to find them. So I did get a few home things though. Walmart, like our Walmart is really good. I don't know about you guys, but we have really good Walmart and I wanted to show you what I got. So for starters, I got this candle. It's um, black and you guys know like our light fixtures and hardware throughout the house is black and it's by Better Homes and Gardens. The scent is soft cashmere amber and it's a really nice like soft smell. I really like it. I normally don't like like grocery store candles but like this is a really nice scent. It almost reminds me of the Tyler candles. So really nice and I just love the packaging. So I got one of these. I'm gonna burn it and like see how I like it. Where can I set this up? I have been wanting to replicate the Khloe Kardashian cookie jars for a while. If you know, then you know. But she always has three jars on her counter with different cookies in them. Hunter is literally obsessed with cookies, you guys. Like he will eat so many cookies. So I probably can't really keep them in the house because he'll eat them a lot. So she, I know, has like three big jars on her island, which I probably should have done because her island's kind of big. But I just really like the way that it looks. But I thought it would be fun. At Walmart, they had these jars. And I just got the three different sizes. So I'm going to try that and see how I feel. And if not, I can like move these jars somewhere else. And I can get go back and get, get the big ones. But I had a really good idea. So I wanted to get... I love like the holiday colored M&Ms. So I think I might change these out season by season. Like these are obviously Christmas colors. And then they always have them for like... Easter and Valentine's Day and that would be just like a cute way to like when guests come over they can like Nibble on that. Hopefully this doesn't mean that Hunter and I are gonna eat them all probably will but it's fine. Um, so The next jar I wanted to do peppermint candies because I thought the white with red would look really aesthetically pleasing So this big tub of mints was five dollars I got two of them because I need to unwrap them individually and place them in this jar and finally, I have the big one, and I'm gonna do cookies in this one. But I couldn't find cookies that I wanted. I want the, at Walmart, they, believe it or not, didn't have like, you know the brand that has all the cookies, like um, the little animal cracker, the animal cookies that are dipped in frosting and like pink and white with like rainbow sprinkles on them? They didn't have that brand. They don't have like, they also make like, um, is it like Mother's or like, I forget the brand of the cookies. They're like the cookie brand though. They make, you know, like the iced oatmeal ones, they make the taffy cookies, like all those cookies. They didn't have that brand, they just had like Oreos and like Nestle. And I just didn't want, Oreos actually would look really good with cause it's black. But anyways, I thought I'd do the iced oatmeal or Oreos, but I just didn't get them. Anyways, I'm gonna need to get like a couple of packs in order to fill this jar, but yeah. So that's on the agenda tonight. I'm gonna be filling up these jars. And I'm really excited to put them on the counter because I'm just finalizing everything before we do the Christmas house tour. Probably when Hunter gets back. I'm waiting for one more garland for the dining room and then we need to get some ornaments because that's a sad situation. So yeah, that's kind of what's up. But I'm gonna go pick up my food and then I will also show you guys what I picked up at the mall today. After I had my meeting at Sephora, I got a few makeup products that I'm really excited about really really excited about they're really good and I also got a few things from H&M okay I'll be back in a little bit I'm gonna go pick up my dinner and start editing and I'll be back Blah. okay so sorry my camera was not working so I couldn't show you guys my dinner but I had some soup and some fish basically uh so I'm editing right now I'm editing vlogmas that needs to go up tonight it's a Q&A and I'm going to unwrap my peppermints right now while I, I basically just edited the entire Q&A and I'm watching it back through just to make sure there's no like mess ups or anything. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to unwrap for a second.
have not, no idea what I've just been through the past couple of hours. My Canon, my vlogging camera is broken because I've dropped it one too many times on its lens face. So I'm on my DSLR right now. I had to switch cameras. But I have been unwrapping peppermints. It's literally taken me so long. I underestimated it. But I mean, it's not that bad. It's kind of just like sitting here like unwrapping mints but I have a million wrappers. There's 180 candies in each tub. So I don't know what I was thinking, but I like the shape of these ones, so whatever. I'm just nuts. Anyways, I uploaded my Q&A video, which was yesterday's Vlogmas, so if you missed that, I did a Q&A, and for some reason, I don't know if there's any other YouTubers watching, have you guys been having issues uploading videos? It's like the files are getting cut off when you upload, and I don't know if it's because of like everyone's uploading because it's Vlogmas or what's going on, but I uploaded it and then it was only like, it was supposed to be like 27 minutes and it was only three minutes and everyone was like, oh, it got cut off. I'm like, shoot. So that was annoying. I had to go back and re-upload the video and figure out like what was going wrong and it was just, I couldn't get the vlogging camera to work and I was like trying to actually vlog everything happening so I didn't just have to recite it back to you but that camera is like toast so looks like I'm gonna need to be, and it's actually like the best camera ever. I love that camera, I just dropped it too many times so it's my own fault but anywho, so that's all done. It's about 10 at night now. I'm finishing, I want to finish my peppermints. And uh, then I'm going to show you guys what I picked up um, earlier from the mall. So let me finish uh, unwrapping these. Okay, here we go. Looks really cute, right? Okay, let's go put it by the M&Ms. Okay, pretty cute. I like them a lot. I'm gonna have an M&M. &M. Or two. Mm. Yeah, it looks cute. And then, here's my third. I'm gonna put cookies in it, but I need to find the perfect cookies for that jar. That's a very big decision. Let's do a little haul. I tried to drink this entire thing today. I got pretty close. I've been like, I haven't been able to drink as much water lately. I don't know why. Okay, not that anyone cares about that. So, what did we get today? Well, I got a few things from Nordstrom, but they're, I'm going to include them in my gift guide. I'm doing a woman's gift guide, probably, gosh, let's see, when am I gonna have all the products that I wanna include in that? It'll probably go up like, early next week, but it'll all be things that you can buy online and still like get shipped to you in time for Christmas. So um, I'm like a really like big last minute Christmas shopper. Like I haven't gotten presents for anybody in my family. Like I've literally haven't gotten any gifts and I haven't even had time to think about what to get Hunter or anything. So I, yeah. So my gift guide will be definitely like last minute friendly and things you can get like on Nordstrom or Amazon, like things that will come really quickly. So that'll be a surprise, stay tuned. Let's start with Sephora. Okay, we'll start with Sephora. I do get a lot of stuff through work, but there's a lot of brands that I like to try that we don't sometimes ever get. So of course there's things that I wanna buy myself. So the first thing that I got, I went for like higher end stuff because that's what I like. First of all, I got my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, which you guys saw earlier in the vlog with the sunscreen. This is my favorite moisturizer ever. I had a big tub of it and I have not been able to find it in the big tub. I think you have to go to the actual Kiehl's store for um, the big one but I had the gift card, so I was like, I might as well just buy it at Sephora because I have the gift card when I don't have to spend my money. So I'll go through this one and then I will go get the jumbo one when I run out. But I, hands down, favorite moisturizer ever. 
Next, I got a few things from Charlotte Tilbury. So number one, I got her Flawless Airbrush Finish Powder. This is basically, from what I know, first of all, the packaging is so pretty. I've been, I've like never, I've never tried any of her products, never. I want to so bad. So this is like a very fine milled powder and it's basically like a really lightweight setting powder. So you guys know I love my Sephora collection and my Grismooth powder. So essentially, I think it'll be pretty similar to that, but it's even more lightweight. So it sets, but like a really light coat. Cause I don't like a love a ton of powder. I just like more of a dewy look. So that will set everything in place, but it's a very like delicate powder. And I've heard people just absolutely love it. So I'm really excited about that. Stay tuned. I also have been really into lip liners, so I got two of her Lip Cheat lip liners. One is in Pillow Talk, which is like her classic pink bestseller. It's like a dusty rose. Looks like, looks like that. I should probably swatch it. I feel like this lighting is like not the best, but Looks like that. And then the other shade I got was Hot Gossip. Cause I tend to like a little bit of a warmer, almost like more brown, orangey lip liner. So the one I just swatched is on the top and Pillow Talk is on the bottom. So this is Hot Gossip and that is Pillow Talk. So more pink and then more brown. So yeah, I'm super, super excited about those. Then, to kind of like blend it out. I got a Buxom uh, full on lip polish in the shade Samantha. It's kind of like a light nude peachy color. And I have so many glosses, but I was just like really excited about this one. And is this one the lip plumper? I think it's just lip polish, can't even see it. Okay, well. It just, I love using like a nude, nude gloss on, I, I'll do like the lip liner around the edge and kind of blur it in and then a nude gloss and it just like softens the lip liner a ton and it makes it, like it gives you definition but it's soft and you can't really tell you're wearing lip liner. It's just the best combination. So anytime you've been seeing me wear lip products lately, it's always a lip liner with some sort of gloss. I just love it. Right now I'm wearing the Bare Minerals lip gloss in the shade Groovy. It's like a nude light pink. I found this in my beauty closet today, so I've been wearing it. It's cute, but I don't have any liner on with it right now. Um, okay, next, actually let's do this. Next I got the Dior Backstage face and body foundation. I've actually seen this a lot on Instagram. I'm pretty sure they did like a paid campaign Looks like this, but it's a really really lightweight like buttery soft foundation I'm have a feeling it's gonna be similar to Mac face and body if you've ever used that Really lightweight foundation. You can also use it on your body. So it's really thin lightweight feeling um, It's waterproof and sweat resistant. You can build it um, and it's a natural glow finish. So I think it's gonna be really nice and soft and almost like natural looking. And yeah, I'm really, really excited about that. And then lastly, I picked this up. So I have a few Marc Jacobs products. I love their glosses and their mascara, but this was absolutely stunning. I've been really wanting to try their Omega bronzer, but I just never have, but this, look at this, I think it's part of their Christmas collection, is a foiled, all over foil luminizer. Oh. oh my God, it's so pretty. It's basically, oh my God, I don't wanna touch it. Rose gold jumbo highlighter and the packaging is just everything. That was like a really fun Sephora trip. I haven't done that in a while because I always like talk myself out of buying makeup because I work at Sephora and I get so much makeup. I'm like, you don't need to do that. So I never just treat myself to like all the things that I really want, you know? So that was really fun. So next I got a few things at H&M. 
First are these little polka dot sheer socks. I thought these would be really cute to wear with like heels for like holiday parties. It's a little bit more high fashion, but it's fun. And then I got a few sweaters. So I've been really wanting some white sweaters. I don't have any. This is just a very basic kind of, not cropped, but like just a shorter length, like kind of uh, mock neck knit white sweater. Pretty cute and just very simple. I just knew I needed to get it. I was almost like, eh, but I'm like, I just need to get it because I know I'm gonna grab for it. And then I also got this like fuzzy textured white sweater as well. This is also a size small. This one was only 20 bucks, but I have a black fuzzy one that I got from H&M last year and I love the fuzzy texture. I feel like it's just really nice to add a little bit of something to your outfit in the winter because it can get kind of boring, I guess. And then this one is so cute. It's like a very big statement leopard sweater. And this is only $14.99, you guys. Actually, this would be a really good gift for anybody. Maybe I'll include this in my gift guide because that is like a freaking good deal. And that would be such a fun gift for like a girlfriend or a sister if they're into fashion. So cute. Also got these glasses, which you guys probably saw. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw them in my Instagram post. They're so cute. They remind me of Gucci. So I saw them last time at H&M and I didn't get them and I regretted it. So I was like, I'm getting them this time. They're so cute. A little random pack of like nude hair ties because I always lose all my hair ties. And a pair of earrings. These are so me. They're like gold and silver. Kind of like my normal chunky hoops, but a little bit more of a statement. You guys know I love jewelry. That was the damage and it was really fun. I haven't like gone shopping in a while, but I was loved like picking things out and just enjoying. And there were so many people in the mall. I feel like the holiday shopping is in full force. And I was there literally in the middle of the day. I'm like, what are all these people doing? Like, don't you have jobs or you need to go to work? I mean, I have a job, but I was there for a meeting and I was just surprised to see like how many people were at the mall during the day. It was pretty incredible. Like, I'm like, how do you get out of the office and like have time for that? So I am going to get ready for bed and I'm wrapping up today's Vlogmas. I hope you enjoyed it. Just another typical day in the life. I know not that interesting, I guess. I feel like I've been very productive this week and I'm feeling very satisfied about it. I feel very organized and I feel good. Um, just missing Hunty. Oh, we got to do our giveaway. I keep forgetting about that. We go get the prize. So, here are the items for today's giveaway. We've got two pairs of lashes, one from Sephora Collection, one from Velour Lashes, both really good quality. A um, Sigma Beauty uh, Beauty Sponge. A Fenty Beauty Lipstick, that's a good one. Too Faced Chocolate Gold Eyeshadow Palette. Guys, this is bomb. I love Too Faced in their palettes, and look how cool this is. Let me show it to you. It's gorgeous. It's like so holiday-ish. How fun is that? Really, really pretty. So that's a really good palette. Ooh. Sephora Collection Lip Stories Midnight Kisses set. So you basically get a bunch of lip stories lipsticks. These are each eight dollars, so that's eight times six is forty. I mean, these are really good giveaways, you guys. I feel like they're like three hundred dollars worth of product, like each one. So, anyways, I know you guys are liking them, but it's very exciting. So these are tons of fun, like berries, reds, um, some neutrals, really cute little lip kit of different lipsticks, and those are the best lipsticks. A Bosha mask. This is their luminizing black mask. I think it's like a peel off one. And then another palette from Sephora Collection. This is one of their holiday palettes and it's like a face palette. So I'll show it to you. Oh, eye and face. I'm sorry. Gorgeous. Come on. Different. You've got your face up here and eyes. Really gorgeous and pretty. Great for travel too. 
And lastly, a little hand cream set from Sephora Collection. So this one's their Honey Hand Polish. It's like a scrub, and then you have the almond one, which is like hydrating, moisturizing. So, really good giveaway pack for today. And let's see what is our entry going to be. Because I did a Sephora haul, tell me what is one beauty product that is on your wish list. Well, it could either be for Christmas or one beauty product that you really wanna try if it's like, even if it's super high end and expensive and like you might not ever buy it for yourself, what is one product that you really want? That'd be really cool because I love like learning about products, like what people wanna try or something. So, please comment on the video one beauty product that you really want to try or is on your wish list or on your Christmas list or whatever. Let's vlog, miss. Let's see. Should we vlog? Should we? Yeah, I guess we'll just daily vlog pretty normal. Um, gosh, guys, we only have one more day and then Hunter comes home. Well, not until late Friday night, but what are we going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow is going to be like a real typical day in my life because I don't have any like events or things like outside of the house so you guys are gonna get to see like the real deal like what i actually do just at home and like what my work day is like and this is gonna be super raw and like accurate of what my everyday is so okay anyways stop blabbering love you guys happy holidays happy vlogmas i'm so happy you're enjoying it and see you in tomorrow's vlogmas